We owe our next great discovery to Sir Isaac Newton, who was born in England the same year that Galileo died. Legend has it that Newton was relaxing in an orchard one day when he saw an apple fall from a tree. This simple incident caused him to wonder why the apple had fallen to earth while the pale August moon continued to sail contentedly overhead. It was a eureka moment of insight for the young man. He realized that the same gravitational force acted on the apple and moon alike. If you think about it, you get the feeling that all through this apple orchard, there's some force that's pulling the apples down. And what was really great about it was that he extended it beyond the apple orchard and all the way out to the moon. He realized that this force was everywhere, and this was something that nobody had really thought about before. Newton reasoned that as the moon tries to travel in a straight line in space past the Earth, the Earth's gravitational force pulls the moon towards it. This keeps the moon trapped in orbit around the Earth. But the moon pulls on the Earth too, with its own gravitational force. Newton had discovered what is called the law of universal gravitation. Universal because the relationship applies to all bodies in the cosmos, including apples, moons, and planets.